day. I can sense a presence. Very well. Um... It might be easier for us to act first, think later. Exploring. No 
understand what Hero-Kun's saying. People suffering from apathy syndrome seems to be increasing.
looks really strong. Yeah, it's got the initiative. It would be very strong. to get somewhere. Is that treasure? Good day. Very well. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering is overriding acceptable? All registered. Are you in search of new... What kind of persona do you desire? This would be a wise choice. would be a wise choice. This persona is powerful. Please choose what skills to inherit. have been bestowed upon you. It's finally time.
This persona is powerful. Please choose what skills to inherit. This persona is powerful. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive an immense amount of power. <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? This power might be too much for you. This persona is powerful. This would be a wise choice. This would be a wise choice. Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive an immense amount of power. Well then, shall we begin? Is this acceptable? This would be a wise choice. This would be a wise choice. It is a special persona you desire. This persona is powerful. Choose what skills to inherit.
it appears, it will receive an immense amount of power. <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? What kind of persona do you desire? This persona is powerful. Are you finished? We look forward. I owe you one. Good to see you. What do you got? Wanna sell in bulk? Alright, I'll take that. Well, take as long as you need. Everything look good here? Good. It's all yours. What are you looking for? That what you want? Great. It's all yours. What will it take as long as you need? Everything looks great. It's all yours. Uh huh. As long as you need. All 
done here. Come back soon. You got a sec? Morning! I've got good news. I guess it's coming back today. Mitsuru-senpai said her injuries are all healed up. We're meeting in the lounge tonight. Don't forget, okay? See ya! Returned, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. Man, it's good to see you. It's been a whole month, you know. I was getting nervous. Me too. I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. 
I'm just a machine. I can always be rebuilt, even if I'm completely destroyed. My programming data would still exist. Come on, don't talk about yourself like that. I was told she'd need another week for a complete recovery, but I had the work expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me while I was at the lab. I heard what happened. You've all been through so much. Have you been well? Well, given the circumstances, I'd assume not. Sorry, I could have done so much more. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... <sighs> but if I hadn't done what I did to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. As for what Ryoji-kun said, have you... Already made your decision? I have a favor to ask. Tomorrow, when Ryoji-kun comes back. Please, kill him. I can't bear to see you all suffer like this. If you're in this much pain, I beg you, choose to surrender your memories. Even if... Even if it means forgetting everything and everyone... I guess, what are you talking about? Yeah, seriously. This is not like you. <sighs> what is it, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My duty is to protect people from shadows. But now, it's clear that I can't defeat them. What am I even doing here? No matter how hard I try, I can't even shed a tear for you. I guess. Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? Why risk everything when it will only lead to suffering? You're all just throwing away your lives. I don't understand. We're not throwing away our lives. In fact, our eyes are set on the future. Isn't that right? Right. I don't understand. Perhaps it's because I lack a life of my own. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't carry out that duty with the power I have. So what is my purpose now? I just... don't know. And no one can give me an answer. Well, yeah, you don't have the answers. The meaning of life or death isn't something someone else can just teach you. Making your own decisions is hard, no matter who you are. No choice is perfect, you know? But as long as we're alive, we gotta do something. When you see someone going through the same thing you're going through, you just wanna help them. That's how we plan on getting through this. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best explanation, but that's the idea. That's... the idea? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you, I guess. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you'll lose sight of your purpose and you'll have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then what you need is to seek out a new purpose. I'm not really one to talk, but I feel like I've learned something important this year. To truly live is to be willing to change. And we have to make those choices for ourselves. Do you think I'll be able to change too? You have changed so much. Haven't you noticed? You've even started speaking like a real human. I understand what my purpose is now. I'm a machine with the directive to live. And the one issuing this new command is me. I'll stay.
stare fear in the face and choose to live. This is the promise I've made to myself. I'm not sure how I'll do it. But perhaps that's a part of living too. Yeah, it sure is. Will you allow me to join you in this fight? You kidding? Of course! You've always been one of us. Thank you. From now on, I stand with all of you. No matter what happens. Yeah!
Hey, it's been a while. Midnight's just around the corner. When it hits, I'll lose this form. And I won't be me anymore. So, have you made a decision? Then, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Yoji kun Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you have to kill me influence your decision. Like I said, I'm gonna disappear either way. I don't have any hang-ups about dying, so you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you decided? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm on board too. I've made my decision as well. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Better let him know then, okay? It's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though, back then, I had a different form and a different name. It seems like you all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the dark hour and the memories of your battles will all disappear tomorrow you'll wake up as a normal high school student you'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall but if you let me live you'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death nix can't be defeated it's pointless to fight her are you still thinking or have you already made up your mind? change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. Do you see? I am not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. There is no need to hesitate over killing me. Now, consider this very carefully. Is confronting Nix really what everyone wants? Some things in this world cannot be changed. That's something you can't comprehend. Memories are not set in stone. Old ones can be replaced with new ones. Creating a new reality. Don't you think you should put a stop to everyone's pain and suffering? It's up to you. Only you can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please kill me. More than anything, I don't want to see you suffer. After all, you're someone very special to me. I understand. 
As sad as I am to hear it, it's your life. You're free to do what you want with it. I'll respect your decision. Let's get back to the others. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. <sighs> Somehow, I knew that's what you'd choose. I know you better than anyone, after all. I have this feeling like I always wanted to see you again. That's why I came back to you as Ryoji Mochizuki. Maybe there really is some power out there that can do the impossible. And if there is, I know you all have it. Oh, right. Here. I want you to have this. I know this isn't exactly the best timing, but I never thought I'd feel this way. Whenever you play this music box, I hope that you remember me. Come on, let's go. Everyone's waiting. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's a painful decision, but it's yours to make. That's right. But it's impossible to defeat Nyx. We'll go as far as we can. We have to try. <laughs> You're the only one saying it's impossible. Personally, I don't care if it is. All right, then. It's almost midnight, so I'll make this short. I should tell you where to find Nyx. She's at the very top of Tartarus. On the promised day, you have to make your way to the top of the tower. The promised day? It's exactly one month from tomorrow, January 31st, 2010. On that day, Nyx will descend to Tartarus, and that's when the world will end. One month? Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the night sky. It acts as a beacon to guide Nyx. With the appraiser's arrival, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared, and she begins her descent. And with her, she brings the Demise. That explains why it's called the Tower of Demise. So what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right. But remember, after today, You'll be fighting against eternal despair. I've said it before, but Nyx can't be defeated. When you come face to face with her, you'll finally understand why. And then, you'll realize exactly what you're trying to stand against. We understand. You don't need to keep telling us. One month from now, January 31st. We won't forget. Well, I'll be going then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji kun. I guess I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy and my friend. I guess. Thank you. This is probably the last time we'll get to see each other like this, but. I'll always be watching over you. Well, so long then. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya. <laughs> that punk. We have one month until January 31st. We'll get through this together. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the fool arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon you the 
the ultimate form of the fool within thyself. Good morning. Oh, and, um, Happy New Year. Yeah, let's make it a good one. Happy New Year to you too, Koro. Oh, man. <sighs> I totally overslept. But I stay up all night watching that stupid movie. It was about zombies in Italy or something. Anyone else catch it? Why would I watch something like that? Um, is anyone gonna visit the shrine? I already stopped by enough shrines on my jocks. I'd say I'm covered. Yeah, I'll pass. I don't wanna deal with the New Year's traffic. Oh, that's too bad. Yukari-san and the others are already there. Apparently, Mitsuru-san got kimonos for all of them. Kimonos, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna run to the store. Hold it. Uh huh? You're going to the shrine? I thought you didn't want to go through the trouble. I, no, I'm not. I'm just going for a walk. Uh-huh. Well, I don't have anything better to do, so I'll tag along. Oh, I'll go too! Oh, look at that! Turns out we all want to go after all! Where is it? Oh, I have directions. Sweet! We were just about to leave. You can tie. What? Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Iori? Kirijo senpai, you look amazing. I, I feel like I'm. Oh. What's this feeling? <clears throat> Excuse me. Happy New Year, everyone! I've never worn a kimono before. Um, my obi isn't crooked, is it? Luca, wow, you look just... Oh, wow! 
Hey, come on. This traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. Hi, John. Considering what you usually wear, it looks even more amazing on you. Uh, is that so? What is this odd sensation I feel? Uh, I'm so glad I came. Best New Year ever. Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? Man, what a beautiful first dream of the New Year. Right, Sonata-san? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I guess so. By the way, aren't you guys cold? Yeah, a little. But I think it's kind of helping me wake up. Oh, that's not what I meant. Junpei-san said you don't have any other layers. Other layers? Uh. Wow, aren't you just a great role model for Amata-kun? I drew a paper fortune, and it said, Great luck. I'm sure that means everything will work out for the best. Wearing something like this on New Year's really makes me feel more put together. Although the sash makes it a little hard to breathe. <sighs> Seriously, Junpei? Of all the dumb things you could say. Anyway, it's nice that we get the chance to go out like this every once in a while. Let's just try to stay positive and chin up. What? I didn't say that! Dude, don't go making stuff up! Huh? But you said... Planning on heading back? Let me know when you leave. I'm not used to seeing the girls dressed like that. I'm not sure why, but I get a little flustered looking at them. Planning on... What did you wish for, Fuka? I wished for a great year. I know it sounds boring, but that's what I really want. That's what I wished for as well. We all wished for the same thing. However, I'm not praying for divine help. There's nothing to worry about. I have the utmost certainty that we can do this. Yeah, I know we can. We should get going. Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey.
listening to this old man complain? I'm sober today, so sit tight, will ya? All I had to do was look all serious and recite the sutras. I can make easy money from donations. That's what I thought. That's why I set aside my pride and begged my parents to let me take over the temple. Every day is someone's death anniversary. Kind of makes you think how long people have been around. I'm working memorial service after memorial service 24-7. My little temple was some kind of convenience store. think of something else to do with my life. Can't keep this up for much longer. My alcohol tolerance is weaker too. I've been drinking too much lately. Making a fool of myself like I did the other day. I never would have become a monk. I guess I'll go to a detective agency tomorrow. All right, let's get going, kid. Looking forward to a shame. Very well. Good day. Here are my requests. You must know. By 
all means. I will await a report of success. Very well then. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, what kind of persona do you desire? Have you all the elements you need? You can't control this one yet. Control this one yet. Are you finished? We look. in stock. Check it out. That what you want? All right, then. Everything look good here? All right, then. Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. Take as long as you need. I do have some firearms in stock, but huh? Made up your mind? All right then. Baby, still with me. Everything looks good. All right then. You gotta tell no. Everything looks good here. Great. It's all yours. I never feel like that. What you want? All right then. What do you got? Hmm? You finished? Come back soon. You gotta tell no.
they call divine guidance. The detective called me this morning and that he found my wife and son. He said they're running a small restaurant. Sounds like it's pretty popular among the locals. My son's married. His wife is pregnant. Sure makes me feel old. Ain't coming back till I earn their forgiveness. So, I'll be out of town for a while. I decided the next time I saw your face would be the day I leave. So I'll be going tonight. I'll get down on my knees if I have to. If my son wants to sock me in the face, well, that's fine too. I, I've been thinking about proposing to my wife again. Even though I'm not so good with words, I'm gonna say, I wanna recite the sutras with you by my side for the rest of my life. Well, how's that sound? You don't know nothing. She's gonna burst into tears when she hears that. No copy in it, all right? Might not mean much coming from a monk who couldn't relinquish thoughts of the family he lost. But I was finally able to face the fact that I was drinking to hide my true feelings. It was an enlightenment of sorts. <laughs> it's all your fault, kid. After lecturing you all those nights, started reminding me of my son. Maybe Buddha sent you to help me. <laughs> I gotta admit, I believe in fate. If I'd not met you, I don't think I'd ever see my family again. I owe you, kid. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Tower Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Tower within thyself. Shake it. You get a cocktail called XYZ. Movies and manga often use the initials XYZ to symbolize the end of something. But I consider XYZ to be the best of the best. It tastes so good going down. I'll be praying that your future will be XYZ. So long, kid.
Thanks, man. Finally time for me to pay you back for everything. I see you two are together again today. Kurosawa-san, I don't usually see you around here. Is there something wrong? No, I'm just helping patrol the area. You might have noticed already, but the city's been feeling a little different lately. We can't be sure what'll happen. Make sure not to stay out too late. Thanks. You be careful, too. I will. At any rate, this is perfect timing. Something I've been wanting to ask you. Recently, your friend here has been bothering me about my work. I don't know what he's up to, but I'm hoping you might have an idea. Oh, you thinking of becoming a police officer? No. Well... I haven't really thought that far yet. I just figured I should get to know you better, Kurosawa-san, since you've done so much for me. I've had my eye on this guy for a long time, but I have to say, he's changed a lot this past year. Is this your doing? If it is, then I hope you'll keep looking after him. He has a tendency to get himself into trouble when you're not watching. Oh, and just to illustrate what I mean, at the end of last year, we had an incident where a large number of gang members were found knocked out at Naganaki Shrine. It seemed to be the result of a fight, but no matter who we asked, they all claimed it was their own fault. The attacker is still unknown. We thought it might have been a clash with another gang in the area, but some of our sources suggest there were only two culprits. The most surprising part is no one found at the scene had any actual injuries. It's kind of unbelievable considering their sheer numbers. Whoever did it must have been pretty skilled. <sighs> but in the end, the victims were just a group of infamous punks. They probably pushed their luck one too many times and got what was coming to them. It's very likely the other side acted in self-defense. And with no injuries, we probably don't need to pursue this case any further. idea why the two of you would look so relieved to hear this. I may be an officer of the law, but I'm a human being first. If there are those with integrity who know how to use the power they're given, then I'm not above helping that cause. I think I'm starting to see the path I need to take. Thank you, Kurosawa-san. I haven't done anything to deserve thanks. I was just musing myself. Things may have turned out fine this time. You'd better avoid pulling a stunt like that again. Nowadays, it's becoming more common for goons like them to carry guns. Maybe it's inevitable given how connected the world is, but things just seem more dangerous lately. I don't know about that. Against a gun, you'd have to faint and approach from the side. Nothing of Brock, though. Now that's a thought. I'll have a lot of freedom once I graduate. <laughs> it might be fun to see how far my fist can take me. There he goes again. <laughs> Jokes aside, you certainly get a lot of opportunities when you're young. I do miss that sometimes. Maybe the three of us can get together for a drink someday. Well, I'll be on my way. Someday, huh? 
You know, I've had to do a lot of thinking about the future lately, but with entrance exams and all, no matter what path I take, I intend to keep on fighting. But I'm sure there are some things out there I won't be able to do alone. That's why someday, I want to become a leader just like you. Well, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. We've got a job to do before that. I'm gonna protect you and all my friends. I'm gonna fight for our futures. And I'm gonna be the big brother she'd be proud of. That reminds me. I should give these to you before I forget. Go ahead and use those if you want. I'll teach you how to wrap them later. No particular reason. If you have those on, they'll stabilize your grip on your weapon during battles. Just take them for now. They're what let me use my fists to their full potential. In a way, you do the same thing for me. All right. How about we end the night on a high note with some good eating? Anything goes today, so don't be shy. I'll be taking care of the check. Or tonight, at least. You and I will be going strong for years to come. You'll get your turn eventually. All right, let's go. Hey, Koromaru. Lots of people haven't been looking so good lately. They say if you smile when you gargle, you won't get infected. And if your feet get too cold, you'll catch depression. So bundle up when you sleep. What? Okay. See you guys later. <laughs> Quite exciting over here. Well, it's been different around town lately, don't you think? So many people with dead looks in their eyes. Not to mention the wild stories going around. I couldn't help but worry. So I came to check in on you. <sighs> but it looks like I had nothing to worry about. So that's enough of that for now. Next time, I'll bring some snacks, all right? And 
it's been getting chillier to you. Ah, right. Do you know how to play shogi, young man? Is that so? Then Koromaru can lend you a helping paw. Well then, shall we begin? I don't have anyone to play with these days. This is going to be fun. Hey, hold it! Chan, it's too early for that hint. What's going on over here? Oh, pardon us. We are right in front of the entrance, aren't we? Oh, no, don't worry about it. Uh, of course. This is a student dorm, right? Then does that mean you'll leave this place one day too, young man? I see. Well, Koromaru, looks like the next batch of students will look after you, too. Life may be filled with goodbyes, but they never get any easier. Mm. What? Hmm. That was a good move. Mm, so what? Just getting started. <laughs> that was a good match. I'll have to stop by again. Until next time, you two. And to that lovely lady over there. Adieu. Moving out of the dorms. That would be some point after we finish our fight. It's hard to even imagine right now, but it's something we'll have to face in the future. After all, we're fighting so we can even have a future. <laughs> Don't you worry, Koromaru. Everyone will love you. Oh no! My shogi pieces! Is that the old man from earlier?
I see you back. 